In Power BI, we can control the chart using a tractor button. But in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple technique to develop the same type in tractor chart using Microsoft Excel. If we click on total cost, this chart is now sorted based on total cost, which are the blue bars in ascending order. And if we click descending order, this chart is now sold based on total cost in descending order. If we click on total sale, this chart is now sold based on total sale in descending order. And if we click ascending, this is now sold in ascending order based on total sale. Now, how we can develop this interactive chart with a very simple step? I'm going to show you each and everything in this video. Consider we have this data set. First thing, I will click on plus icon to insert a new sheet right click to rename this sheet as a helper next i will go to data set again copy all of the headings so ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste those headings now i will write a very simple function sort for the array i will select all of the data set i have hit comma sort index so in this case column a will be one b will be two c will be three so for now i will just define two later we will make this part dynamic hit comma either you want to sort the data in ascending order or in descending order so keep in mind ascending one minus one for descending so I'm just going to write one for now close the bracket hit enter and this will sort the data based on column B in ascending order. Now of course I will just select the data sheet convert this to a currency remove the zero. Now I will select all of the data sheet go to insert recommended chart I will insert this column chart hit ok I will delete the title for now click on total cost right click format data series in this case I will convert total cost into secondary x axis next thing I will click format chart element select total sale decrease the gap width to somewhere let's say 40% I will increase the fit of chart a little bit just to look a little clear now I will click on total cost simply select the chart go to chart element total cost and i will decrease the gap width to let's say 150 percent now i will click again on chart go to format select the total sale in this case i will select light blue color for total sale the only thing we need to understand we just need to align secondary x-axis and vertical x-axis so click on secondary x-axis go to x-axis option expand the x-axis option and in this case the max value will be always the same so i'm just going to define 8000 and this will align secondary and primary x-axis on the same scale now i'm just going to click on secondary x-axis hit delete key primary vertical x-axis hit delete key to delete those x-axis and click on this plus icon i will insert data table in this case i will remove the legend so just click and hit delete key now i will make two helper table first table will be let's say kpi type and here i will type total cost let's say the next will be total sale i will just define second column as a sorting and as i told you this column is second this is third so i'm just going to define for the cost two and for the sale three now i will select all of the data sheet ctrl t to convert this to a table my table has header hit ok and now we will create a second table second table must be on the bottom of first table so i'm just going to define let's say sort sorting order let's say descending and a is c ascending order now the second column will be sorting you can rename it with any name and for descending i'm just going to write minus one for ascending i'm just going to write one select all of the data sheet ctrl t to convert this to a table format and now we will just select the table go to insert slicer and we will insert slicer based on sorting order hit ok of course i need to format a little bit this slicer so just go to slicer setting hide item with no data display header so uncheck this one hit ok now i'm going a little bit formatting so just decrease the, the height of slicer in this case i want two column format decrease the width of the slicer as well and now i will select let's say this slicer but i want to remove the border from this slicer so how i will remove it just click on the slicer go to slicer design for example i choose this format first thing i will just right click duplicate this format and now this window will be appear i'm just going to click format border no border hit ok hit ok click on the slicer again and in this case i will select this new design and this design there will be no borders and i will now move the slicer on the top of my 
chat the next thing i will simply select the first table go to table design insert slicer in this case i will insert slicer based on kpi type i will do the same step so slicer sitting hide item with no data display header uncheck hit ok decrease the height of slicer i want two column format and just move on the top of the chart i already defined my custom slicer sitting so i will select this one and just decrease the height of the column a little more and now our chart is almost ready Ready, but we need to add an interactive feature in this chart look when i click on the button what happened it actually filter only the selected data set so in this case you can see two and in this case you can see three if we click on descending order we get minus one and ascending order this is one now this is very useful for us if we write a function here let's say subtotal and in this case i will select 109 which is a sum function for the reference i will define the whole column as a reference close the bracket hit enter keep in mind subtotal exclude the hidden row so if i click total cost it will return two if i click total sale it will return three now this is very useful for us we just need to copy this whole function without equal sign Control c go to the formula index number we just need to remove this one Control v to paste our function hit ok and now you can see if we just click on total sale total cost this will sort the data based on ascending order now for the sorting order i'm just going to remove the same formula so just remove table one sorting control backspace and select this table close the bracket hit enter and this will return one if i click on descending order this minus one so we just need to copy this whole function Control c click on the formula click on a2 cell which has ecto formula remove the one Control v to paste my second function hit ok and this is how we can create nice interactive chart now we simply select excel chart hit control key to select the slicer and second slicer control c to copy everything go to data sheet control v to paste those detail here now you can do a little bit format with this chart better to click on view of the grid line as well and this is how we can create this interactive chart of course you can insert text box here by just going to insert text and text box here just insert it here go to shape format remove the outline to no outline write the title you like for this chart and the last thing we just need to right click on this helper sheet hide this sheet so user don't see my helper calculation and this is how we can create this nice interactive chart please subscribe my channel for more video and if you have time please share this video as well thank you so much